Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you, uh, Sek uh, Mani uh, Bunuan. Um, uh, well, please uh, take your seats. Uh, uh, members of the cabinet that are uh, here present, uh, of course, uh, our uh, our hosts, um, the Pasay City Loan District Representative Antonio Calixto, and the uh, Pasay City Mayor Imeldo Calix Calixto Rubiano, uh, AFP Chief of Staff uh, General Romy Browner, the Major Service Commanders here today, our uh, newly. Uh, appointed uh, Coast Guard, Admiral uh, Caban, who is uh, here, who has joined us for the first time. Uh, BNP Chief uh, Gen General Benji Acorda, uh, fellow workers in government, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I have arrived back uh, from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, after a very short, but I can say successful and productive visit. The ASEAN GCC Summit is a landmark event, and this, was ha this happened for the first time when leaders from both ASEAN and the GCC states met and discussed regional and international issues and agreed upon the future of cooperation between our two regional organizations. The summit provided an opportunity to project the Philippines' long-standing promotion of a rules-based international order which is essential to the maintenance of peace, security, and stability in our regions, which sit astride two of the most vibrant sea lanes of trade and communications in the world. I highlighted in particular the ways that we can collaborate in the areas of energy, food security, and the enhancement of logistic chains for the continued progress of our independent global economy. I underscored in this regard our commitment to the full implementation of the ASEAN GCC Framework of Cooperation from 2024 to 2028. With the GCC countries home to more than 2 million hardworking Filipinos, I of course uh, called for the safeguarding of their rights and of their welfare as well as for their upskilling so as to meet the demands of the increasing digital transformation in the modern workplace. The summit also provided ASEAN and GCC leaders an opportunity to convey their views on the ongoing conflict in Israel, in Gaza. I shared our hope for peace and to, that it should prevail and for the welfare and safety of civilians to be upheld in accordance with international humanitarian law. During the Saudi-Philippine Business Roundtable meeting, we witnessed the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between EEI Corporation and Samsung Engineering uh, NEC Corporation Limited, or SENEC. SENEC is a joint venture between Samsung Engineering and Al Rushaid Petroleum Investment Corporation. Under this agreement, a 500-person capacity training facility will be established in the Philippines to upskill Filipino employees in various professions in the construction industry. The facility aims to train at least 3,000 Filipinos a year and more than 15,000 Filipinos in the next five years, ready for deployment with their new found skills. This agreement is valued at 120 million U.S. dollars. The DTI also reported three other business-to-business -business agreements that were discussed among Saudi and Philippine human resource companies for the training and employment of Filipinos across a wide range of industries, including healthcare, hotel and restaurant and catering, maintenance and operation, amongst others, other operations. These agreements are expected to generate more than 4.2 billion U.S. dollars and an additional 220,000 jobs for Filipinos over the next few years. I certainly uh, enjoyed once again uh, the vibrant Filipino community of Riyadh. I assured our Kababayans of our continued support and assistance of the Philippine government in their 
sacrifices that they have made for the country and for their families and that we will continue to support them in any way that they need. I also met with the Kuwaiti Crown Prince at the sidelines of the summit. And at that uh, very, very quick, very short meeting, it, uh, uh, we agreed to continue to discuss the, some of the obstacles in our uh, relationship in terms of the bans that we had imposed uh, for employment. And uh, he was uh, very, very effusive in saying that uh, we should remove all of those and we should continue as we had done before, which is a very important development because for a few months now we have had to ban the uh, uh, deployment of uh, Philippine workers in Kuwait. Now that will end and we will now uh, return to the normal uh, state of affairs with the Kuwaiti government and in fact they have moved very quickly. Uh, they have already started discussions uh, with at the ministerial level, at the ambassadorial level as well. Finally, I had the opportunity to meet Crown Prince, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. We exchanged views on issues of common concern to our two countries and I expressed hope that we can sustain the momentum of high-level exchanges as we expand cooperation in key areas of mutual benefit to our people. It was uh, very encouraging because uh, uh, the Crown Prince uh, made it very clear that the Filipinos that are working in uh, Saudi Arabia, and we are, pro we are approximately 760,000, and we will be soon be approaching close to a million. And this is only in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It was very encouraging because the Crown Prince made it very clear to me that the Filipinos, the Filipinos will play a very important part in their continuing, the continuing growth of their, of their, uh, of their economy. And uh, there is a new aspect to our relationship with Saudi Arabia, whereas uh, before, essentially, it was just for employment and we sent our people uh, OFWs. Now, they have, uh, uh, they have extended that their relationship and say that it is time that they bring investment to the Philippines and uh, to support our, uh, to support their uh, food supply, uh, their food supply situation, uh, and to support uh, the, uh, the industries that they are going to uh, expand and they're going to establish. And so, the, whereas before, it really was, you could have said, you could have described it as a one-way street. Uh, we were sending uh, workers to uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, now, it will uh, be more of a two-way street where uh, we will send, certainly continue to send our workers to Saudi Arabia, but they will also, uh, in their, for their part, come to the Philippines and invest, make capital investments here in the Philippines as they see uh, ASEAN and the Philippines uh, in particular as, a very, as an area of very good potential for the development and transformation of their economy. So let me assure you that we will continue to advance our national interests as we further expand our partnerships abroad. Maraming salamat. Magandang hapong po sa inyo lahat. Ang buhay po tayong lahat.